Yo, what's up, everybody? This is Blue. I'm chilling in Starbucks with my friend Mona Bodega. Check out. Check out the fine mama. <laughs> anyway, I was going to make this video about this girl I met about five years ago. And she asked me what was my religious foundation and views, and I told her I didn't adhere to one. And she told me we could not date because she needs a God-fearing man in her life. She needs a man that loves the Lord. And I said, that's your reality. That's not my reality. So she said we couldn't see each other. Now, I see this girl like two weeks ago, and she has a youngin. And mind you, she's never been married. So that means she made the baby out of wedlock. So, according to the book that she read, she's a whore. I didn't call her that. The book that she wanted me to prescribe to called her that. And I told her that ain't my reality. Now people get mad at me saying I shouldn't say that. Man, if you throw a rock at a park, uh, if you throw a rock at a pack of dogs, the one that yells is the one that got hit. I'm just saying. That's what I'd be telling people, man. If I was interested in fucking you, I would tell you what you want to hear, and you would be mine. But I'm more interested in the way you think upstairs because once we meet intellectually everything else will fall in place you know what i'm saying but people don't like honesty they like when you lie to them people tell you you're bitter and i always say you want to put your brain into my head so i can think like you think i'm not bitter i'm just honest and you don't like my honesty and that's the thing about people when they lie to you when they lie to you it's because the lie sounds good to them first and once the lie sounds good to them they think the lie is going to sound good to you, but they don't know how the lie is going to sound to you because they can't put their brain into your head. They just think you're dumb as they are. That's all it is. Listen, like I always tell people, all you, you should speak the truth regardless of the circumstances. If people don't like the truth, then so be it. You know, people, like I always, I am brutally honest. People don't like my honesty. Like one day I was on the train talking to this girl, and I said, look at this. If you had... You date from the time you started having sex when you was a little girl up until now. If you'd have turned tricks for every guy you met, you'd be a millionaire right now. People told me I was wrong for saying that. You think I'm wrong for saying that, Mona? Yeah, fucked up. <laughs> so fucked up. Mona said I fucked up. <laughs> she would. Fucked up, but it's true. She should have. She should have been turning tricks, and she'd be turning tricks. She'd be a millionaire right now. She would have a condo by now instead of living in the housing. Man, people just don't like honesty. But that's what it is. Like, like I, t you know, like when, when you talk to a guy, a girl, fellas, you tell her, you might think I'm talking to you because I'm interested in having sex with you, but that ain't no big deal because once we become friends, you are gonna give it to me anyway. Not all the time. Stop that. Mona said not all the times. Not all the time. I'm ready to get out of here, man. Morning, get ready to start a debate. Start what? Start a debate. <laughs> everybody, I'm out of here. My name is Blue. Peace and love, everybody. Mona said peace and love. Peace and love. Ain't she a fine mama? I wrote a poem for Mona. Mona. It says, your locks got me twisted. <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy.